What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Row Access. It's awful Thursday, although I know it's Friday. Um, I've had some issues with them uploading the last couple weeks. Like, I posted them, and they just, like, hang. I don't know. It's, I don't know if they're just too long, or it just gets interrupted. I don't know. So, I'm going to try it again. We'll see. Uh, the last ones I backed up to my computer, so I'm going to try to upload them from there tonight when I get home, and maybe you guys will just get a whole bunch of them. But uh, if you're following along on Instagram, um, we got the layoff this week due to the coronavirus. Um, it sucks, is what it is. We knew it was coming. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that aren't working. And, you know, quite frankly, I don't really know anybody that is working that's out here right now. Um, Colorado has got a lot of oil and gas and, you know, the oil was really, the oil prices really affected everybody that was working in oil. And then, you know, we thought maybe on the gas side, we'd be safer for a little bit longer. And turns out, uh, coronavirus got us. So the project sounds like it won't even be up until maybe September. Um, so, you know, holding out on that job, it's going to be a long ride to get to September. It's, uh, April, whatever, second, third, something like that. Uh, so, you know, today's little lesson is just thinking outside of the box. Um, if you've got a weld machine on your truck and you can weld, now's the time to, you know, maybe source out some of those little side jobs. Um, go follow uh, along on Austin Ross's journey. He's been doing um, odds and ends and stuff since he's been out of work with the union, uh, just waiting on his spot on the wheel, you know? So there's lots of odds and ends things you can do if you can weld, if you have a welding machine. Um, even if you have like a, a machine like mine that's dedicated stick, you can hook a MIG welder up to it, run it off the outlet. Um, so you could run wire off of it. You know, if you have one of the newer machines, you can run, you know, the suitcases and stuff. But yeah, so I would just say that, you know, think outside the box and find ways to make ends meet. You know, for us, we're laid off. We're eligible for unemployment if we choose to do so. I know for a lot of guys that have families, that's probably going to be their best option to make sure they get money, you know, coming in. I don't know if I'm going to do it personally yet. Um, I think I'll be okay. Uh, but, you know, just people filing for unemployment now because everybody's all out of work nationwide. You know, they, there's like record high unemployment numbers right now just due to the fact that everything's closed down. You know, they're in Colorado, there's basically only essential businesses are open. Um, oil and gas is considered an essential business, but now none of us are working because the companies are scared about getting it and passing it and whatever else. So um, there are some places still working, you know, but I just don't know, personally know anybody that's working in it. But yeah, so think outside the box. Wally and I decided, we, you know, we've been talking about doing a podcast the last few months. Um, I've always wanted to get one going for something. And I, I talked a little bit about it um, last year, maybe getting something started and then just trying to figure out a good way to do it. But now that we're laid off, we've basically been just doing a podcast in the mornings uh, for an hour. So 945 Mountain Standard Time, Monday through Friday is kind of our, our target time right now. We may move it around a little bit just depending on how we can, you know, because people are hopping on and hopping off. But we've been doing it for an hour. So 945 to 1045 ish. Um People on the East Coast can catch it on their lunch. People over here can catch it on their break. Um, and then, you know, as we're starting to, you know, just float it around, we'll see how it goes. But right now, that's kind of the time that works for us. Um, and then we're just shooting, you know, a lot of videos and stuff like that. And it's already taken off for us. Opportunities have come from just that, you know, getting out there and doing it. So, so far, the reviews are good. We're going to keep doing it, even if the reviews are bad, because we're enjoying it. But yeah, now's that time to start thinking outside the box. This is one of those times that it's good to be multi-skilled, you know, have more than one way to make money. Uh, make your money work for you. Be smart. Save your money while you're making it. That way, when you are on the layoff or the downtime or whatever else, you know, like last year I was out of work or earlier this year, I was out of work basically from December till February. I planned for that before I left Germany. So I was, you know, set up. I was doing odds and ends, tile work, whatever else. And, you know, push comes to shove. I'll go back to doing tile work. Um, but for right now, we're going to be doing the podcast, um, shooting tutorial videos, trying to bring you guys some of the stuff you guys have asked for. Um, right now, we're finishing up shooting um, some stuff for heavy hitters TIG rigs, so go check them out. Really love these torches. I'm now learning how to TIG with them. I've TIGged a little bit in the past with some other stuff, but um, so far, so good with the TIG torches. I really love them. So shout out to Eli for kicking me in the ass to get it going. <laughs> uh but yeah, so we're finishing that up now, and then we've got some other things on the table that we're going to be talking about and shooting videos on, and then I can get a lot of my How to Be a Helper series shot and done now that we have the, the 
you know, tons of time to do it. So this is kind of becoming our new nine to five until we find a new 6.30 to 4.30 <laughs> welding pipe. So think outside the box, stay safe out there, wash your freaking hands, you stinking nasties, and talk to you guys soon. See ya.